we have just talked about three key areas of component innovation, processing, memory, and display. But what happens when you put all these state-of-the-art components together? We are working with our partners to add their value on top of those components. One such partner is Microsoft. Here to tell us more about how they are using Samsung's components to extend their solutions is Microsoft's Chief Technical Strategy Officer, Eric Rother. Thank you, Stephen. Well, 2012 was a busy and exciting year for Microsoft. We had an amazing launch of new products as we continued our transformation from a software company to a devices and services company. We've been incredibly focused on the user experience from end to end, from the data center where your information is stored and secured to the modern UI applications that are always up to date. And our journey has really made us appreciate partners like Samsung, who enable us to deliver our vision across a full spectrum of devices and services. Great experiences like Outlook, SkyDrive, and Xbox Music demand great devices. And Samsung's new AT family of devices truly highlights the modern UI of Windows. In fact, Samsung was the first company to cover all of the major form factors for this wave of Windows, from the phone to the desktop, which was a fantastic achievement. Beyond Windows tablets, PCs, and phones, we've also worked together to bring Skype to Samsung smart TVs, so people can have a great communications experience from the comfort of their living rooms. We sometimes take for granted that every new device will have better graphics and better battery life than the previous generation. However, the reality is that it takes careful coordination across the entire supply chain in order to make this happen. In the case of Microsoft Surface, Samsung is one of our strategic compliers for components. The result of this cooperation is a Windows 8 device with great battery life and a vibrant display. So you can see more, do more, and share more with the Surface. We have a long history of working with Samsung to push the limits of display technology. You can see this clearly in the massive Microsoft multi-touch display that took center stage when we launched Windows 8 and the new version of Office. After today's announcements, it should be clear that there is no rule that says displays or computers need to be flat, opaque, or rigid. Just look at the Yume screen we just saw. We actually have a prototype of Windows Phone and how it would look on one of these screens. And Microsoft's vision is that sensors like Kinect, combined with flexible, transparent, and projected displays, will bring us to a point where any object can be a surface and can be a computer. I'd like to close with a short video from Microsoft Research, which extends interactivity to every surface in your living room. Last year, you may have seen some videos with pre-computed projections. What we're demoing today is both real-time and fully interactive. And while you may find it hard to believe, the footage shown here is exactly what appeared in our lab without any special effects being added. Some companies talk about a reality distortion field. We've actually built one. Xbox, go big.
This is just a glimpse of what our future may hold in store for us. We're excited that this technology can be used 